What's up guys, Mark from Spots Music Center, and it's been a long time since we've done a YouTube video, but we're gonna try to get back in the swing of things here. I've got four different compressor pedals in my hand. I'm gonna explain to you what a compressor pedal is, uh, what it does for your signal and your sound coming out of a guitar. The example I'm using today is gonna be for acoustic guitar. I feel like a compressor on an acoustic guitar is a very overlooked effect. It's something that I've put on mine in my pedal board since the beginning of time. I've just always liked the way that a compressor responds to my recording background. Um, compressors are on just about every acoustic guitar track, every vocal track that you've ever heard in existence. Uh, very rarely does a signal got, not get compressed in recording, so our ears are used to hearing that. Uh, but let me explain kind of how these guys work, and then I'm gonna play each one uh, for you just to see what color differences there are uh, through a little troubadour. Uh, amp. Um, I utilize a pedal board when I play acoustic electric. I just have always preferred the sound of it. A compressor for me is always on my signal chain uh, as well as a reverb. Um, and then the other stuff's kind of just there for fun. So the Boss CS3 is what I'm going to start with uh, as far as explaining to you the, the pedals I'm going to be trying out. Um, this guy has a level tone attack and sustain to it. Um, the CS3, I use this for like six, seven years on my pedal boards. Really like the color of it. Um, this is a new attempt for me. I've never used the MXR Custom Shop Custom Comp. Uh, this guy just has an output and a sensitivity level to it. So i um, interested to see how that colors the sound. My current pedal on my pedal board is the Mesa Moon from New X. Um, this is a booster and compressor combo. I liked it a little bit more than the CS3 for the Breed Love guitars that I'm running now. It's a little more transparent, um, doesn't color the sound as much. It also having that boost circuit, I could utilize that for when I get a lot of things going in a loop. I can just bring my signal up. Um, as well as add a little bit of drive if you want to, but I'm only gonna be utilizing the compressor side of it for this, uh, this video. And then the last MXR pedal is a Super Comp. Um, this guy has attack level sensitivity and output on it. So let me explain. Let me explain to you uh, what a compressor does and then we'll get these hooked up one at a time and let you hear the differences. All right, so if you think of a compressor as the signal that's coming through, like your guitar signal, vocal track, whatever you're compressing, it's gonna have a highest volume and a lowest volume. What a compressor does is puts those closer together, so squashes your sound, and then gives you control over it. Traditional compressors in recording would have a uh, threshold, so once that volume hits the threshold, it would start compressing the signal. Then typically there is a ratio, so once you hit that com compression threshold, or once you hit that signal threshold, it's gonna start compressing. The ratio is gonna be how much compression there is. On these pedals, that's gonna be most likely your uh, sensitivity or your amount of sustain. Um, they're gonna give you that, uh, how squashed that signal's gonna get once it becomes compressed. Um, and then there is attack and release. So the attack is how quickly that compressor engages. The release is how, how that tails off. So good natural sounding compression in a recording sense is typically that two, three, four to one ratio. You don't usually see a lot of extremes. Uh, one of the things with the acoustic guitars through these, I like to run them really compressed, um, pretty heavy compression, because if I'm playing something really lightly, um, I want that guitar signal to, to be brought up and louder in a live setting. If I'm playing more reserved and laid back, I want, still want that to come across and be heard well. Especially with harmonics, you'll notice a huge difference. If you hit a, hit a harmonic note, it'll just sing through because that compressor is gonna, going to increase the gain and, and make it sound uh, at a volume level that you aren't used to hearing. Um, it just makes it more apparent that it's there. And then if I'm really laying into something, it also evens that out. In looping, like if you're going to be looping signal, a compressor is your best friend because it keeps that rhythm track at a volume that now my 
lead tracks or my other rhythm tracks can kind of sit with or sit on top of uh, without having this huge drastic change in volume. So we're going to get started. I'm going to move the camera, get it up close to the pedal so you know exactly what we're running. Um, throw some headphones on. We're utilizing an external microphone just directly into the camera. So as far as coloration, that will alter the sound a little bit. Um, it's just a natural um, boom mic for a, for a camera instead of util utilizing kind of recording studio mics um, everything's going to color the sound a little bit but this will just give you a good reference to how that uh, compressor is going to react and we'll go from there let me grab my guitar playing a, a Breedlove Jeff, Jeff Bridges signature model um, through the compressor and a reverb and then right into the Troubadour 30 Ibanez's acoustic amp so here we go Well, I suppose I should let you know what my favorite. I'm going to move this back, point it towards me. All right, so after playing all four of the pedals, I'm just going to go in reverse order as far as my personal preference. So last, and certainly the least, out of all of them as far as what I prefer, now tone is completely subjective. So just because I think one thing doesn't mean that 
that somebody else's opinion does not matter. But the MXR custom shop, custom comp, does not have a lot of range to it. It kind of does its thing. Um, it's a little bit too bright. It, um, as far as the compression sound, the coloration of the sound, um, it just the both MXR pedals were a little too bright for me. Um, but they they sounded good. Um, it works good. Does what it's supposed to. Just not my preference. Same with the uh, Super Comp. The difference of having the attack level sweepable that you can change the attack level on it. Um, I feel like the uh, the Custom Comp. It's more of that in between, like super compression and really light compression. It's kind of a good in between. The same with the Super Comp. It it doesn't give you an ultra compressed signal um, but it's just the color of it I my ears don't like as much um, the CS3 was my old standby um, when I bought the new X Mesa Moon year year and a half ago it's been a while uh, and replaced it um, I wasn't a hundred percent sold on the new X uh, and then after playing with it for a year and going back to the CS3 um, for this little demo and then also there, a few weeks back I took a CS3 home to try in my rig and uh, still love the pedal. Um, has a great color to it. I think for a $100 or less or $110 and less um, pedal, the CS3s are a phenomenal compressor. Um, it can't beat them. They're a great price point. Um, but the, I, I still am going to go with the Mesa Moon. Um, I like the compression color of it a little bit more. I also like uh, the Boss and the Mesa Moon are ha have a heavier compression to them. You can crank that sustain up and get a much heavier compression. Now, I'm bottomed out on the Mesa Moon, so I can't go anymore with it. On the, uh, the CS3, this guy gives you the most compression out of all four of the pedals, so I had a lot more control. I was actually borderline feeding back there at some points, but um, this pedal is a, a great option because of the amount of compression, and that's probably why I liked it in the first place, is it got me that heavy compression sound. Um, just the color isn't isn't as, as transparent as the new X, and I prefer with these Breedlove guitars, I actually have preferred the, the new X compression. So hopefully uh, that gives you some information on what a compressor does for your signal. If you're an acoustic guitar player and aren't using it in your signal train, train. Your signal train. I'm going to start calling it a signal train in, instead of a signal chain. Train. Okay. This video is over. I'll see you next time. One thing I forgot. Here are the settings I was running.